the girl basically then saw that I played football. She started questioning me if I played for West Ham because my mum had like this little thing in my in my bathroom. And I started trying to, to lie, deny it. I know that is you. And I was like, cool. So then my friend didn't want to like sort of like take the girl downstairs to the to to make sure that she got home safe. And I had to make sure of that because my missus and my mum were gonna come home at the time. My ex and my mum were gonna come home at the time. And in my head I thinking one thing my mum said to me was to never do things like this or bring any girls around your house when you've got a relationship. And then yeah, so a panic station started. You need to leave. This is now Sunday morning about four or five in the morning. Sunrise, sun's coming out. And I'm looking at the time, clock's ticking. This girl's still in my house and I'm like, you need to go. No, can I stay here a bit more? I said, no, you need to go. My missus, my ex is, well, I am saying my missus at the time, but she's going to come home and my mom's going to come home. So you please need to go. Where do you live? How do you need to get somewhere? How do you need, where, where do you need to go? Mm-hmm. And the girl, was, she was from Watford and I'm, we're in Romford. That's far. And I'm like, crap. How, how are you going to get there? Oh, I don't know. Boom, cut story short. I ended up having to call a taxi on my phone, walk to downstairs, put in a taxi, and then she off she went, gave her a hug as she got, got in a taxi, see you later. And then a week later, I got arrested. I was identified as a gang member that had raped a female this day at this time. And then, yeah. And that's when everything changed for me in every way. 